Good evening, America. I am your host, Melvin Appleby, back with another fantastic show here on The Late Night Show with myself, Melvin Appleby. We'll be starting off our evening tonight with a fantastic guest who has, in fact, just recently won the award for the most outstanding college football player in all of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to Mr. John Capoletti. Hello, John. Welcome. Thank you, Melvin. Wonderful to be here. So, John, you have recently received the Heisman Trophy Award, which is awarded to the most outstanding college football player in all of the United States. At your acceptance ceremony, you spoke directly of how you wanted to dedicate that trophy to your younger brother, Joey. For those of us who did not hear the speech, now, why exactly was that? You see, ever since my youngest brother Joseph was a little boy, he suffered from the dreadful disease of leukemia. Therefore, over the last several years, he has gone through so very much that none of us are even able to comprehend or be able to compare to. We're talking about different tests and examinations and so many different sicknesses, as well as tremendous amounts of pain. However, through it all, the one thing that always cheered him up and made him positive and happy was watching me play football. He's always been a big inspiration to me because it always amazed me that a kid like that who's gone through so much more than I could ever uh, understand or realize has always looked up to me and looked up to his love of football and loved of the game to keep his positive mindset and to be happy and be the best that he can be through it all. And I value that very much. Wow. His sheer will is utterly miraculous. I just, I imagine that going through so much hardship has certainly affected his body and that he's in constant pain or is, in, or is uncomfortable. Now, is that true? <laughs> you see, that's the thing about Joey, is that even though we hear of all these different painful procedures and tests and situations which he's going through, I have never once, not once at all, heard him complain about any pain whatsoever and it just amazes me. I guess that in his mind, by setting these things aside and focusing on the things in life that he enjoys, he is able to just keep that positive mindset and one of the, and that is one of the large reasons of why he's such an inspiration to my own life. Indeed, he could certainly be an inspiration to us all. So John, over the course of the last season, which you were able to maintain an incredible 11 and 0 record, you managed to score 17 touchdowns, including two back-to-back -back games with four touchdowns each. Now, how exactly did you manage that? And what was going through your head on those nights? <laughs> you want the honest answer? The truth is, Joey came to me before that game and he said the only thing that he wanted for his birthday, and I quote him here, was three, and then he changed his mind and said, no way, actually four touchdowns for his birthday. And at first I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I can do this, but I guess, I guess you could say that he got that gift all right. Incredible. And how about the second game? You see, after the first, he was as happy as can be and exceptionally proud. But he came up to me and asked if I could do it again for the next game, which was coming up in the following week. And in sincere honesty, I had no idea if I was going to be able to do that, considering how, uh, how many bruises I had endured and how painful, how much pain I was in following that game. But uh, turns out, that next game, which was the following week against Ohio, turned out to be one of my best, my best games from that season. Absolutely astonishing indeed. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after these messages with Heisman Trophy winner of 1973, John Capoletti. are back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Late Night Show with yours truly, Melvin Appleby. I have the great honor to be joined tonight with newly crowned Heinzman Trophy winner, John Capoletti. All right, John, so let's talk about you personally. What was your early football career like long before you became the star of the NCAA? Well, Melvin, just like Anybody, I started playing football in high school, and I was fortunate enough to be the All-State uh, quarterback for my home high school, which was nice. Uh, during my sophomore year at Penn State, uh, the offensive line was pretty full, but I was fortunate enough to get a position as the defensive back on the defensive line, which, of course, wasn't my favorite spot, but I was 
uh, certainly happy and proud and honored to be a part of the team. Uh, leading up to my junior year, which was last year, Joe Paterno, just sincerely the greatest coach ever, of course, uh, moved me up onto the offensive line when there were some openings, and I filled in there as a tailback, which I, I could say I enjoyed and I liked that position very much. Uh, leading up to this year, uh, coach moved me into the position of running back when there was an opening, and I could I believe I can thoroughly say that I thoroughly enjoyed that position and that the rest of Penn State did as well. <laughs> I could certainly agree with that statement, John. So when exactly did you hear that you had won the Heisman Trophy? <laughs> in, uh, in all honesty, basically everybody knew long before I ever found out. You see, on uh, December, December 3rd, I think it was, I had spent the day with the AP All-American team touring and visiting and just seeing all the sights and taking pictures here in New York City. And it wasn't until midday until uh, we were in the NBC studios uh, just doing some shooting and doing some scenes. And one of the floor managers came out and informed everybody that I had won. And it, it did catch me a little surprising, but uh, I can say from that point forward, it's just been a dream come true. I'd imagine so. Now, did anyone within or outside of your family have any estimates that you would win the Heisman before you were actually awarded it? You know, to no surprise at all, Joey always had faith in me that I would win the Heisman Trophy uh, from the very first time or point in his life when he figured out and learned what it was. And uh, I could say my, my sister-in-law, she also felt that she had an idea that I might win it, but really from the get-go and from the beginning, Joey always had it in for me. Ah, most certainly, that is wonderful indeed. Now, looking back on your life and your own history, did you ever think that you might be in the position to receive the Heisman, or did it ever settle into your mind what has actually happened? <laughs> you know, oh, certainly not. I mean, it's every college player's dream to win the Heisman, of course, and it was certainly something I always wished for, but never felt as though I could achieve it. On top of that, it didn't really settle in until I was in my hotel room just minutes before the big presentation. And when I stood out in front of those 4,000 people with flashing cameras and more celebrities than anyone could count, it appeared to just have finally clicked. And it still feels so unreal and just amazing to this day. Yes, I'd, uh, I'd imagine so. Now, a major question which has been widely requested of me to ask you is simply, how do you spend your summers and free time when you're not being the next biggest football star in the United States? Well, Marvin, you know, I'm really no different than your typical American. I rather enjoy my time I get to have at home over the summer and being able to be with my family. Uh, on top of that, during those hot summer months, uh, I actually run a snow cone shack at one of our local parks with which uh, both Joey and I have ran for a couple of years now, so that's nice. Ah, just your typical American then. Ah, yes sir, you bet. Ah, <laughs> wonderful. After such a remarkable career in the NCAA and being such a vital role, now where do you go from here and what exactly are your future plans? Well, you know, considering the fact that I am a senior this year at Penn State, uh, it will officially be my last year there, and if all goes according to plan, I will hopefully get selected in the upcoming NFL draft uh, here in a couple weeks. However, you know, if that doesn't work out, I will, in fact, have a diploma in law enforcement, so I could always, you know, I could always do all right. And even if that doesn't work out, you know, I, I could say I could always go back to the, to the snow cone shack with Joey. Certainly sounds wonderful. Well, I thank you for coming on our show tonight, John. It was certainly a pleasure being here, Melvin. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1973 Heisman Trophy winner, John Capaletti. Thank you.